What's up YouTube? It's your boy C's back at y'all with another video. And this time um, I'm definitely want to talk something very important on this spiritual discussion video. Why do I'm not gonna say women, but little girls treat grown men like kids. Once again, let me repeat that. Why does little girls, not women, little girls treat grown men like little kids? Let's get into that. <laughs> I mean, first of all, man, it's crazy. I mean, it's one of them type of things like, first of all, no disrespect to the women out there, the real women, the ones that's really out there putting in the work, the ones that's out there making sure their kids can fed, making sure their kids going to school, making sure they got a roof over their head. I'm not talking about y'all. Not the ones out there working and busting their butt, putting in the work, really trying to make sure they treating their man like a king, and that man treating his woman like a queen. And trust me, there's a big difference between when men and little girls. <laughs> and like I said, this is no disrespect to the women. But I want to shout out to all y'all little girls out there. <laughs> I mean, it's one of them type of things, man. You just got like, you know, you, you, you try to do your best as a man. You really try to put your hardest out there. And what is a man? Let me let me get into that. What is a man? A man is somebody that go in now. He work hard. He try to make sure his queen is good. He try to make sure his little ones and everybody up in the household is good. He's the rock. He's the one that's gonna go out there and handle business when it's time to handle business. Little boys don't handle business, but men always handle business. And y'all should understand the difference between boys and, little, and, and, and men. And a man always gonna stand up for what's right. Just like a woman, she gonna stand up for what's right. And if it's coming from within here, getting them answers from within here, just like my man said on one of our past spiritual discussion videos, sometimes that's not always the best advice getting from somebody else. It's always the answers come from right here. If you feel the answers, speak on the answers and talk about it. And that's why I gotta talk about this. You know me. Even he'll tell you, he'll co-sign for this. I consider myself as a man. Why I consider myself as a man? Number one, I go to work. I make sure I do my job well. And I don't play when I get to work. I do everything I can to make sure my family, me and my queen, and everybody else besides that, like this dude here, this is more like not a friend, but more of a brother. This family right here, you feel me? I made sure all that's taken care of. Number two, I made sure it's food in the house. Number three, I made sure it's a roof. Number four, make that bread, that cheese, that money. Whatever you want to call it. Handle your business. Make sure the lights is on. Make sure your family eating. You feel me? And there's some other things. I can't say five, six, and seven. But y'all pretty much get the basics. So, me, a man. That's what a man does. And it came to a situation, man. I'm not going to even lie to y'all. Sometimes 
some of the, I'm not going to say women, but little girls out here, a man can actually speak the truth. A man going to stand on what he believes in. And he's going to make sure he do that. But when it comes down to a little girl disrespecting a man, I said, y'all, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to give y'all an example of it. All right, let's say, for example, you go in, you pay your bills, you do your work. You do everything you can. But you got this little girl always getting in your ear. Disrespecting you. Saying things like. Back up. Get out the way. And all that kind of stuff. You know, I understand coronavirus going on. I'm not knocking that. But it's the way you talking to a man. And for you women, well, not women, but little girls out there that's claiming to be women, you need to check yourself on that. Because any real man is not going to stand for that. Eventually, he's going to get tired of getting slapped upside the head. And you keep on treating him like a little boy. I'm not saying that man going to put hands on you because, trust me, any man that do that, I can't call him a man. That's a little boy. You will never put your hands on a woman. Period. I understand if you're defending yourself or uh, try to hold her arms or whatever so you won't get hurt. I get that. Don't put your hands on a woman, man. That don't make you no man. I'm going to tell y'all plain, point, and simple. You know what I'm saying? That really make you weak for real. And, um... Like I always say, man, if you got you a man in your life, really appreciate your man. Don't treat him like a little boy. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I know, especially the sisters out there, man, y'all be all like, man, I don't know, he just ain't ready for a real woman. Ain't got nothing to do with you being a real woman. Putting that man, like, when he at his lowest point in his life and you saying he ain't crap, he ain't nothing. He ain't gonna mount to this, that, and the other. How's that guy dog hipping that man? Let me ask y'all that question. How's that building him up? How's that gonna help that man? Even if he have a low self-esteem issue, how's you building up his self-esteem, man? Cussing him out and everything like that. That's not helping that man out at all. I mean, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? If, if anything, you should got dog be like, babe, let's go ahead and put in some applications. Let's try to go ahead and get you a job. Let's try to help you out. You know what I'm saying? You know, pick them up. That's all I got to say. Pick them up. What you think about that? Well, also, that, there's also another type of little girl. Ones that like to take in. Go to their man, you know, go to their man and spend all his money. Gold diggers. <laughs> <laughs> like, like we said in our last video, it's all about money. Yeah. Some people. Yeah. Some women that some uh, little girls act like women, treat a man, treat a man like he's a man, and eventually to the point to where she expects him to spend all his money on her. And if he can't buy her the one thing she wants. She oh, she does. throw a temper tantrum. I don't like you. I don't want to be with you no more. It's over. The relationship is done. Right? Okay, you constantly try to tell her that. And hang the phone trying. on you. <laughs> right? <Yep>. Quit, too. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> he's, he's trying to make his point, letting her know that he had to, you know, before he gets her what she wants, he had to take care of bills yeah. and other things. Yeah. Even though he want, he wants to get her what it is she wants, but before he can, he has other things to take care of, as well as take care take care of her in the process. Yeah. Sometimes those things cause him to cause him to 
Yeah. Kind of like lose money, spend a lot of money. That's to right. The point where he can, he doesn't have enough to get her what she wants. That's right. And some of them, they taking, they don't care anything about the bills. They just care about themselves. That's right. And once again, it's selfish. That's right. And you know what's interesting about what he just said? If it's one of those gold diggers, little girls, or whatever, pretty much, she never cared about you in the first place, dude. I ain't gonna tell you no wrong. Man. Cause the only thing it was about was that money. She married them dollar bills, not you. It don't matter how this look. You look like Boo Boo the Fool, and you got plenty of cash. She ain't stuck in it. She ain't thinking about Boo Boo the Fool. She thinking about that money. <laughs> and presidents. Yes, sir. That cheese. That got dog mula. The Nello, for the Mexicans out there, the Nello. <laughs> That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's all it's about, man. But what, what happened to the heart? And how long that's going to last? Because in most cases, statistically speaking, those relationships don't really last that long <laughs> at all. <laughs> and then you know what's going to happen after that. This person gonna be plotting, scheming, and all this kind of stuff, trying to set you up and all this mess. And then that's what? Oh, for better or for worse, you got the marriage ring and all this kind of stuff. You get divorced. She wanna divorce you. Oh, I thought it was for better or for worse. Right? I thought it was for better or for worse. That's how I supposed to go with the whole marriage thing, right? But for some reason, it don't seem that way. Because if it was for better or for worse, she'll still stick with you. The money ain't there. Oh, she taking off. <laughs> she's going to be with that other dude. Because she, in her mind, I know I look good so I can say whatever I want to say. And be toxic because I don't know what. And trust me, any little girl like that, that makes you look very ugly. Inside and outside. Okay, how good you look. That's right. Because the thing is, that don't make you look pretty at all. Let me ask you fellas this, man. The man's out there. The real man's out there. Is it worth working, building yourself up with your hard-earned money in career, to be with somebody that's toxic for the rest of your life just because she got a beautiful face. How's she gonna treat you in the long run? Is it worth it? Is it worth your soul? I leave that to the viewers. Me you say no more. <laughs> I mean, what you think, man? <laughs> I mean, hey, they leave that to the viewers, right? You can leave that to the viewers. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna even answer that. <laughs> y'all gotta answer that. All oh, y'all, man. You know this viewing this channel, man. Everybody has their own answer. That's right. But hey, the answer's yes, and you'll roll with that. More power to you, brother. <laughs> but me, no comment. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, man, it's wild out here, man. And this is the kind of world we live in. And just like I said, man, for better or for worse, you get married, man. And then you having this fake marriage. You marry a little girl. And she really already had her agenda in her mind. I'm going to get half. Now they say, I'm going to get half. Half. <laughs> you want half of everything. And not just that. So and that, was, that was the agenda. Because check this out. It was one of them type of things that it was just like, hey, it was already in my mind, man, from the get go. You know what I'm saying? That was my agenda. I was talking all that woo woo woo, lock the dot, just because I wanted you to get close. So once I get you close and married, then I got my plans in motion. Same thing getting them kids. Oh yeah, man, get them kids. Oh yeah, 
Keep getting these kids from me. Mm -hmm. No, you is. Y'all know. <laughs> and for the real women out there that's really got dog putting in the work, I salute y'all. I salute every real woman out there. Because like I said, this conversation is even not for y'all. Y'all know who y'all is. And trust me, I know some deadbeat fathers. I can't even call them fathers. Little boys out here too. I ain't going to say it's just little women. It's some little boys. But that'll be on another video. We talking about the little girls on this one. Back to the little girls. So that's the gender you'll push. Oh yeah, I got him where I want him. We got three kids. We got five kids. Oh yeah. I'm going to put him on child support. I'm going to ask you to make misery in his life. So he could get so mad to the point he want to divorce me. So I can have Mr. What is it? Um, Uncle Sam collect my pennies. And for me and my kids. But ultimately it's for me. <laughs> Once again, just like I said on that previous video. But ain't standing no love or none of that stuff. What's more important? Life or the money? Kind of sound more like the money again. You know what I'm saying? So, all I got to say, little girls, check y'all sales. Because there's um, some real mans out here that see y'all. We're going to take care of the women, yep. but not the little girls. That's right. Because I ain't going to tell you no wrong. For anything, man, out. If it's a real woman and she treat me like a king, oh, believe me, I'm going to treat her just like a queen. Or better. Or better. Yes, sir. That's real talk. That's real talk. And that's any king got here. And like I said, my parents ain't named me Caesar for nothing. My name actually means king. Look it up. That's why I call myself King Mestre. I want a queen. I don't want a little girl. As long as I got me a queen, a real woman, AK real woman, I got you. And yeah, I'll be loyal to you from here to the end of time. And that's on some real stuff. Sure. What you think? Hope for sure. And as long as I'm going to definitely treat my woman like a queen. Said we're gonna we're gonna be happy for the rest of our lives. That's right. She gonna speak about me to everybody. That's right. Cause as long as you're doing that, you're doing exactly your part as a man. But don't never second guess yourself because a woman trying to gaslight you, make you question your sanity. You be a man and you stand up for what you believe in. Mm -hmm. And don't let no woman. Well, I'm sorry, not woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize to the women out there, but don't let no little girl put you down. You stand up and you stand up like a man supposed to stand up. And don't let nobody tell you otherwise. You let her know. Put your foot down. That's right. Let her know. She ain't going to get the best of you. She don't have control. You do. That's right. Whatever she want, she get it when you, when you decide to give it to her, when you can give it to her. That's right. Otherwise, she won't get it at all. That's right. Or she can work herself and get it. That's just like me. I said this to myself. If I ain't got me a woman that's making sure I'm, she taking care of my children and all that kind of stuff, I don't need them. I will take care of my child, though. And even if that uh, little girl or whoever, you know who he is, put me on child support. As long as I'm taking care of my child, I'm still standing up to my own standards. And I know it's a lot of good men out there that's paying child support right now because they got set up for all these little girls out here. They think they know themselves, but they really don't have a clue of who they are. Because if they did, they'll understand how you feel and your feelings. Because just like I said, you don't put a man down. We still human too, you know. It don't make you weak just because you cry. It don't make you weak 
just because you doing exactly what you supposed to do as a man. And what I mean as a man, going to work, taking care of your family, feeding them, having a roof over their head, helping your mama, helping a neighbor, man, helping your, your homies, everybody. You know what I'm saying? But especially where it all starts at is at home. Make sure you be the rock, taking care of what you got to take care of once you down at your house. Let's get that straight. As long as you the rock and you taking care of what you got to take care of you, uh, of everything that you doing, you're a real man. Now, if you ain't doing that, well, that's a ladder. That's on another video. That's the little boys. We ain't talking about that. So, all I got to say is, little girls out there, step up. Be a queen. And like I said, y'all ain't got to listen to me. You ain't got to listen to all the other YouTubers out here because I'm pretty sure a lot of them saying the same thing. The ones that's woke and actually got some sense. Stop being a little girl and start being a queen. Because a real queen going to really make sure that man is taken care of like a king. And that man is going to make sure his queen is taken care of like a queen. Because a little boy cannot take care of a queen. And a little girl cannot take care of a king. So keep that in mind. Got anything to say? The one more thing is, you also have these little girls that disguise themselves as women in order to get a man. <laughs> they, are, they always go out, go out to dressing up to look good, saying, I'm gonna go out there and get me a man today. Saying, they always think it's just about the way they look. Just because yep. she's pretty. Just because she has a nice body. She got her hair did, her nails did. She gonna get any man she want. Thing is, you can't get every man. You can't get the good men. So you always end up with the with the bad men. And if you do end up with a good man, you always end up treating him like he's a little boy. That's right. That's right. And that's it. That's once he realizes that, he's either, he's either gonna leave you or find someone else before he leaves you. That's right. And all I'm gonna say is, man. When it's all said and done, people, I don't care, even if you is one of these people, like a little girl, if you want to, you can you can rise your level up. You can go from low frequency to a higher frequency. And when you go into a higher frequency of spirituality, and how you do that, be honest with yourself. Be honest of who you are. And when you do that, you can rise to the next level. You can ascend to the next level and become a better version of yourself. And it is possible for a little girl to become a queen. It's, that's very possible. Just like I said on one of my previous videos, like Tupac, upon his poetry of the rose that grow from the concrete you could rise above all the petty stuff only if you're truthful to yourself be truthful to yourself because the thing is think about it if that rose out of all that struggle just to get out that concrete and become a beautiful rose there you go that could be all you little girls out there that become queens. And that's my shout out to all of y'all that's actually going to do that. Or at least try to make the effort of doing that. But I'm not going to talk y'all ears off. I know <laughs> y'all seen these two luscious faces and, you know, yeah, we, we know we look good. We beautiful inside and outside. So, you know what I'm saying? 
it's not just always about being beautiful on the outside. You gotta be beautiful with there because that makes you more beautiful. Always keep that in mind, little girls. And I'm gonna leave y'all with that. And if you little girl don't think we look good, hey, so what? It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, everybody got right to their own opinion, y'all. We know you look good. Yeah, that's right. Because I really don't care what people's opinions are. As long as I'm confident that I'm a nice looking man and he a nice looking young man, two intelligent nice looking young men, they make us beautiful inside out, straight up. So, I'm gonna leave y'all with that. I ain't gonna got dog keep talking y'all ears off. All I gotta say is, for the kings out there, I salute. For the queens out there, I salute Motherland's Realists all day and keep going with that. Forever. And always. Peace.